Hi there, it's Ryan here at Funk Motorsport and today I'm going to be showing you how to fit the N55 Turbo Blanket. These are commonly found in the 135i, 335i, 535i and other cars that use the N55 platform. Turbo Blankets are designed to reduce air intake temperatures and reduce underbonnet temperatures. This will create a more reliable engine bay along with uh, more reliable components that are likely to live a lot longer. Okay, so now let's look what's in the packet. So obviously you've got the two parts of your turbo blanket, the manifold portion, as well as the turbo portion. You've got the supporting springs, a free key ring, and your product guide. Okay, I rec thoroughly recommend reading the product guide cover to cover. There are a lot of useful tips in there, as well as what turbo blankets are all about. For fitting, all I would recommend that you need is a good pair of gloves, especially if you have, have sensitive hands, possibly a spring puller tool, or maybe some pliers. These will definitely help you uh, just try to grab those springs a little bit further. As with all of our turbo blankets, they're available both in titanium like you see here and carbon fiber like you see on this turbo blanket. They both perform exactly the same. They just have a slightly different aesthetic. So now let's work on fitting. Okay, now let's start fitting. So this is obviously the bottom of your turbo and this is the top. This is what you'll see quite easily in your engine bay, this piece here. We're gonna start with the turbine housing, the uh, hardest to reach area. And we're always gonna start with the hardest to reach anchor points. And we're gonna fit those safety springs on there. And actually yours is gonna be floating, whereas mine, I'm just gonna to have to lift that up. So first, what I recommend is you just quite easily placing this around the back there. Um, and then we're gonna grab the springs just after. Just gonna lift the toe up just, just to achieve that here. So once we're kind of sitting in this position here, what we're gonna to need to do is actually reach down and grab the two springs. So one's gonna be here and one's gonna be down there. And I'm gonna use a spring puller tool and we're just gonna fold the toe blanket around. And again, this isn't necessarily gonna sit perfect until both of them are in place. So once you've got hold of that spring, just secure that just there like that. Okay, so once you're ready, locate the second uh, spring. That will just be on the other side of the turbine housing and run that underneath the actuator arm onto the second anchor point that like you see there. Once that's in position, now all you just need to do is just manipulate that just so it's sitting nicely. And you'll notice here that the start of the towel will sit right underneath the actuator arm. It won't cause any issues either. Um, but yeah, like I say, just try to manipulate that nicely so it doesn't interfere with any of the, um, the coolant lines or the oil lines, anything like that as well as sits nicely around the bracket, okay? Okay, so that's the harder portion complete. Now we're gonna be moving on to the manifold section. Okay, that's pretty easy. And yours may or may not have another anchor point here, but uh, that repeats the same process on both sides. As always, we're gonna start with the hardest to reach anchor point first, which is actually gonna be the one on this side here. So we're going to do that one by hand when it's actually free of the vehicle. And it's quite easy to fit. Just slide that over the manifold portion, making sure that it fits there right as we did before with where the anchor point was. Slide that into place and you'll notice again, there's a coolant line. And just manipulate that into place so that sits nicely just there. And you'll notice that just sits quite nicely on top. It doesn't actually need the springs at this point, um, but at the same time, they're just another nice to have. Make sure also that the towel is again underneath the actuator arm like before. And once again, we're gonna reach for our spring puller tool. And this can be a little bit fiddly. So some people, if you don't have a spring puller tool, some people like to um, put a cable tie on the end just for easier access. So now I'm gonna reach through my spring puller tool, grab that and pull through the manifold like you see here. Once that is clear on the other side, you just wanna fasten that onto the anchor point at the front, just like so. Okay, so once that's all fitted, just make sure you manipulate the blanket just so it's sitting nicely everywhere. It's not interfering with anything and it's just sat nicely and there's no creases and you're happy with that. Once that's done, we're done. And there we go, that's it fitted. The N55 turbo blanket, which covers both the manifold and the turbo in one application. If you've got any other questions, find us at funkmotorsport.com.